You know you're in a Polish home when there's some delicious pierogi, or as Canadians call them, pierogies on the stove. And if it's not the pierogies, it's a big bowl of beet soup, also known as bakst. Today, there are more than 50,000 Poles in Calgary, and that makes it one of the largest Polish communities in the country. And when they're hungry for traditional food, this is where they come. The old-fashioned meat delicatessen has been serving customers for more than 18 years. It was opened by Mieczysław Skałka, who came to Canada from Lublin, Poland. While the store has many Polish goodies to offer, the one thing that disappears from the racks the fastest is the homemade Polish sausage, or swojska kielbasa. Polish food may be rich and sweet, but Polish history and its culture isn't all about the honey. Poles have struggled through centuries of war and persecution to preserve their identity and custom. Wanda Bielecka is an 85-year-old Polish Calgarian. Less than 13 years after this photo was taken, when she was just a teenager, she fought in the resistance in Warsaw. Przede wszystkim moja mamusia zginęła po wcanie. Ja byłam bardzo młoda dziewczyna. Mój brat zginął w powstanie. Jednego dnia moja mamusia, drugi dzień mój brat. But 12 months ago, Wanda and many other Poles suffered another tragedy, the worst since the war. The president of Poland, his wife, and almost a hundred other Poles died when their plane crashed in Russia. They were on their way to pay their respects to the thousands of Poles killed there in a wartime massacre. It was heartbreaking for Poles in Canada and all over the world. It brought the Polish people together, but that didn't last long. Poles love to disagree. There's an old Polish saying, put two Poles in a room and you're bound to come up with three different opinions. It's enough to make anyone want to drink. This can also describe the current state of affairs in Calgary's Polish community, especially when it comes to local church politics and religion. The crash actually put us together. Uh, and very soon we forget about it. <laughs> But uh, there are different issues like uh, gain for the power, who is uh, the president, who is uh, not, and who wants to be. Uh, but again, that's a very small percentage of, the, uh, of our community. If there's one thing Poles agree on, it's the importance of their culture, whether it's dancing, writing and literature, or even the food. And food is what the deli is all about. As Easter approaches, Calgary's Polish community is reminded that even though politics isn't something easily agreed on, each Pole, young and old, has cherished memories that have been passed down from generation to generation. For Stu Journalism, I'm Anya Frenzovich in Calgary.